Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the structural analysis workbench in Kitsia V5 to do simple analysis. Alright, so we were in the process of creating the part uh, which can be used for the structural analysis. Alright, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to create uh, two holes on this particular part so you could understand the uh, analysis more better. I'll just go for position sketch. So it does. Uh, it depends. If even if uh, you know this hole is really not there, uh, it does. It's not gonna matter. So it depends on the uh, requirement you have. So I'll just go for say the x-axis and up to next. So that'll do the thing. Okay. I'll just create one more hole. Position sketch. Position it somewhere here. Again, uh, the x-axis. So that'll do the thing. Okay, so it'll be kind of uh, to, uh, you know, you, you can make out anything if you want. So when you are doing it, you can uh, use a different, uh, a different, completely different structure. So I just uh, wanted to do some rectangle and some holes, and uh, show you the analysis, right? And uh, let's just uh, come to the analysis part. So before that, I'll just. Uh, uh, make sure that you have applied the material. So I hope in my tutorial I've um, made sure that the material was applied. So before um, coming coming into the uh, the analysis part, just go for save as and uh, come to maybe a structural analysis and. Uh, just go for part one something okay and uh, go for the analysis analysis and simulation workbench so select the generated structural analysis so when you open up uh, this particular part you have three parts that is one is a static analysis one is a frequency and the free frequency analysis so we're just gonna go for this sta static analysis as of now so basically the static analysis is used to analyze the static boundary condition of this uh, the CAD analysis uh, document which you're gonna work with so when you just come into the workbench you can see the whole uh, you know the structure tree the product tree has been changed and you can see empty nodes and the properties manager and restraints being created it. So the frequency analysis as you can see here is actually to analyze the dynamic boundary condition and as well as the free frequency analysis is for uh, doing the buckling dynamic uh, boundary conditions of the uh, document which you're going to work with. So I'll just go for static analysis as of now and uh, I'll just click on OK and you can see the static case is being uh, created and you can see the free restraints and loads and everything which is not applied and it's actually free alright <coughs> now let's just uh, start off doing some uh, you know creating some loads and uh, right and <coughs> some surface sliders etc so let's come into that in the uh, next part of the tutorial and uh, for as of now this particular part uh, this particular uh, this much is enough and please keep watching thank you so much